So yeah, here we go. Four inch 90 onto a T-piece for purging. And then got um, ball valves, a couple of uh, slide valves, some uh, unions to go on the pumps, um, along with some uh, plates to go through the side for the returns. And then one inch 90 onto this bad lad, uh, basically put that in the end of the one inch, um, one inch pipe. And then what you do is you seal uh, your hose onto the end of that um, outside in the filter house um, and then take that down so the, the 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 pipe then goes down to your, your one inch drain and hey presto you've got um, air into your drain um, which is something I did I only just learned and that called me a noob whatever but all the pipe as well so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 12 lengths of 6 metre pipe, 3 of them and all of that, um, uh, all from the Koi, Koi collection in Coventry, yeah, plans are well under the way. Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Crafty Koi. So, uh, got a little bit on today. Uh, what we did yesterday, I haven't documented everything, I've been so busy um, that I just haven't recorded everything in a minute. But, um, little pond that's starting to get on top of now. Uh, I've got some struts in, uh, I've done a little bit, I've done a little bit of filming on that, you might even get to see that before I say this. But, Ultimately, uh, pond temperature is down to 11.5. Uh, the main pond's at nine and a half as well. So um, temperatures are slightly dripping down now, uh, which is to be expected. Um, but that said, the fish are still a bit hungry. I've cut their feed right down. I use a probiotic food, so it can be used throughout the summer as well as the winter. Um, reason for that is so I don't have to keep mixing the food up. But um, once I get the big pond built, um, I will start to change the diet on the fish because uh, I will separate out. But what I will say is though, since I put the small toe si into the uh, small pond, the sizes of the fish is just absolutely mental what they've, they've done. So they've been on the probiotic food as well, nothing different. I've got a sturgeon in there that goes over it on its own sturgeon food or sterlet food, although be it is looking a good foot and a half, two foot long. Um, I'm just going to flip you around. So there's a sturge just coming in there. Big lad. I literally got him when he was, I don't know, five, five inches. And that was at the beginning of this year. Um, I just did not realise the growth rate of these creatures when they, they fly. Either that or I'm doing something right for them. But I do know they get huge, and um, if anyone's interested, like I say, drop us a comment down below. The fish in the actual pond itself, the filter does need cleaning out, but I've been holding out because obviously I'm finishing that off today, uh, and I want to get the nexus in. So, so as you can see, as we go down under here, um, just to batten all the way round, I've done uh, some old reclaimed timber. Um, from one of my subscribers, dropped it over yesterday. Cheers, uh, Rob, uh, for doing that. Right, so, um, cut across like so. Um, and I've literally, just literally, uh, put both hands on there and lifted my feet up off the, off the floor. Um, and I, I weigh about 16 stone, because I'm Slim Jim. Um, but you can see from that, um, you know, that's gonna, that's gonna look good once we get uh, down so next thing is just going to screw them in on the ends and then get some uh, get some of the slate 
also then got to look at where I've had to take uh, some of the, the slate off. Um, I need to cut this into shape as well, so I'm going to get the multi tool out, uh, rough cut that across there, and that should uh, should bish bash bosh do, do the jobs. But as you can see from that, guys, all right, I run away. Jobs are good. So then, notice there's a split in there, but I thought nothing better. Give myself a decent hole there for dropping the cables down if I need to do that. But again, nice decent amount of gap in between. And not, they don't all have to, well, in my head, they didn't have to be accurate. Just as long as I can um, get some of the water that may get trapped off down there as well. And also feed some cables if so be. Yeah, but you can see, looking good and put your back. is in jobs are good on. so temporary fix I've just got the black box uh, to sort out uh, put the fittings together um, I need to put the last little bit on which I've already done uh, cut ready to go just want to have a look at that so there we go jobs are good on. for that We'll go in, see something through there quite well, and then as we go, can we sat there as well because I have managed to put in the new pump as well. So get me banding it, and get all these bits out the top. But can't see the fish at the minute; it's too dark. To spin you around. Right, so what I've decided to do is take the UV out completely at the moment. Uh, obviously into the winter months, not required. Um, so I will look at getting that all plumbed back in and that uh, at the start of the new season. Because to be honest, I was using a 55 watt that I had in my, my own stock. Far too powerful, don't need it. So I'll be looking to get a smaller um, UV just for the pond. There's no point using stuff you don't need. So. Um, off the back of that then, so let me show you what I've done. Right, so, pump fed into the Nexus, around all the gooji mitts, flips inside, uh, coming out. In fact, I've got a new boot for that one. It was easier to reckon, uh, I think it was easier wrestling a crocodile than what it was putting that on. Yes, I did keep it in boiling hot water, um, but still, my God, you needed a grease in black belt of origami style uh, wrestle with rubber unions to get it on so uh, inside there so that's a that's a, a three to a two with a two inch uh, to one and a half inch reducer straight into 90 um, one and a half inch pressure pipe 90 all the way down and then what i've done is i've put a tank connector by cockney coy in there as you can see comes around the back um, that's been sealed with a gold label uh, 12 quid for a one-shot can it's absolutely unreal but that's in now so um, hopefully uh, fingers crossed that joint will work first time otherwise it's uh, a case of getting some more of the gold seal around that I might even put some on anyway while it's dry in fact that's what I think I'll do um, and then uh, double return um, I'm looking at putting some black pipe on that but for the time being I want to make sure this is all sealed before I take it on to the next uh, stage. So um, from there, I've got a load of media in the in the blue vat. 
uh, that's been PP'd that you see on a previous video. Uh, I'm going to add that per litre. Um, but for the record, um, what I'll be doing is um, putting a small shelf in above the Nexus up here. Uh, and then I'm going to be sitting uh, the old the old pump that's sitting on, uh, on the moving bed filter for the big Nexus. Uh, I'm going to be moving that over here simply because uh, it's second, it, it's uh, old or older. So I want to move that over here and then what I'm going to do is I've already got, I've got a T piece. Um, one line will be run into that. The other line will be run into that. And then all I'll simply do is I'll switch the feed from there to there when I go through the cleaning cycle. Um, and then uh, from that, I've then got, you can't see it now, but I've got a load of uh, flexi pipe. So from the dump valve, that's going to run in behind the pond. Now, what I might do, um, I don't know if I've got it though, uh, is put a hose tail in that and connect, connect some uh, hose that'll be running off there onto the back of there. And then uh, that's then going to then feed into the garden and give it some nice organic fish waste, which is always good. Right, so on flow 30, which I think is plenty. Can see starting to run out of light now chaps and chapesses so if you are seeing this I right, can see that we're now starting to fill up I'll tell you what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna wipe you up here for a sec We're blinded by the light. While that's filling up, we can have a bit more of my beautiful face. So, yeah, not totally level, not bothered. All right. Uh, the whole job of this is to get a moving bed filter in ready to get the, the fish over. So, as it stands, we ain't got no leaks. So, um, win for me on that one. So, there we've got it. We've got. Return coming in, I can't see, it looks like there's potentially going to be a leak or two. Don't know, can't see for there's too dark at the moment, uh, but we'll have a look in the morning. Not too bothered either way, um, something that I can work on. But like I say, what I'm going to be doing is uh, getting some of this smaller black stuff uh, and then getting some of that put on there so I can hard line it back into the pond. One just above, so get a nice little bit of a trickle so we can, when we need a wee, it enhances the fact that we need a loo. Uh, and one underneath as well. Um, the pump itself is actually flowing a treat underneath and it is moving that bottom up, which is absolutely ridiculous and brilliant. But you can see, uh, now it's full up. But that in itself holds quite a considerable amount of water. So, for a moving bed, I say that it's probably a real, real decent size. So. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm probably going to end video in now because I don't know what, you, what it looks like in your way but what day is it today? Tuesday um, but yeah look it's grey and miserable as always right let's put these on that why you should have lights on your pond look at them I love it. I love it. Need to have a little bit of a top up in there as well. Uh, not a problem. So we're in. So the Nexus is up and running. Just need to get some more stuff in there. And you know what? I'm probably going to get it in tonight, or try to, and then uh, do a bit more filming tomorrow because we're dying. Well, we're not dying. We're just losing light. For those of you that have subscribed already, man, thanks very much. Um, getting loads of support, positive support. Um, you know, even shout out um, on Ramsey's DIY pond. All right, Mucker. So, which was uh, unexpected. So, thank you, mate. Um, for those of you that haven't subscribed to his, 
I'll put a link in the description below. Favour returns there. I like some of the stuff that you put on there. Your voice is a bit funny to me. I'm only kidding. It's, it's still a funny voice. Though. It's just one of those. But I like it. I like it. Yeah. And by the way, I'm only joking. I'm an ex-squaddy, for those of you that don't know. And we've got a bit of a warped sense of humour. Some more warped than others. A little bit like Leon Coy's old soldier. Absolutely warped. Um, but I wouldn't expect anything less off a power if I'm honest. So, right. I'm off. I'm going to go and get some dinner. Um, and then I think I might continue in the dark hours um, on that just there and then give us a little update. Right, the missus is going to kill me. It is dark. Although, be it, the camera makes it look really light, which is weird. Right, I'm just going to spin you around. So, loads of media. It's already been cleaned with PP and grey, but like everything in life, you can only do so much in a certain time. Now, what I am going to do is take all the black crap out of there because I don't want that. Um, but I will be using all the other media that's in there. Um, now, it's brown. It's brown because um, I kept it in PP treatment for a good week, believe it or not. Um, never be too careful. So, right, it's time. Yeah, that, that tree, it just, it, it must have three million hundred billion years. If that's even a right, but and it don't help when you drop loads of media on the grass. So, a load of media in the bucket, a load on the grass as well, not to worry. So, no, so use an old net, an old net. Um, you'll see there, look, all this old, this black media here. It's good for one thing, putting on the black media pile um, from the other filter as well. And I will keep hold of that because um, what I will be doing is I'm gonna, I'll be getting a, a small little box filter as well um, because I've now got a pump that was in there, a little pump that I can throw into the, into the blue vat over there. Um, and then if I get any eel fish or injured fish or, or whatever, I can throw them in there as a set. It gives me another option. So although it, it's not the best, a little bit of matting, it served me well for that pond. It served me well for that pond, believe it or not, even with a large stock. So it'd be good enough for the little blue vat over there. Anyway, right, I'm rambling. I'm going to get this stuff in there, um, but I've got to get the bags first uh, to stop it all flowing up. I'll be back in a moment. Right, you crazy lot, I'm back. Uh, been away for a while, doing some bits and bobs. Probably tell it's quite late, we're losing a lot of light as it stands and this video's been a little bit, should I say, outstanding for some time. Uh, but we're getting there. So, I'm gonna spin you around. Right, so, the Nexus is in. As you probably already tell, I can't tell where I am on videos because I've been a little bit disjointed with work and family commitments and whatnot. So, as it stands, Nexus is in, plumbed up. I've managed to sort the old box filter out. I've now converted that. Um, loads of media in now, running off of a, a Nexus pump. Got two air lines running in. Which, um, actually, the first time I've used these little um diversion kits and I must say they're quite good because you can actually control the flow from these into here so i'm going to turn one down just to demonstrate that for those people that you know may be interested right, you'll see that by turning that down i'm losing some of the vert vigorousness of how much it blows out but i need to keep that one going somewhat like that to keep the uh, exit the exit holes clear um, in order to allow the water to pump out so um, I'm too sure I might keep this in uh, and use this as an overflow because when that does block everything comes over but if I keep this free at least I've got water being returned into the pond still and it causes uh, or prevents potential loss of water at least 
uh, some of it. So we'll see there. They'll come over the top. Blind like a good one. I think I'll put 20 litres in that of K1, K1 media. And also them big chunky ones, I don't know what they are, but media's media, and I suppose that's going to do a good job. So the only thing I've got left to do on here now is I've got to decommission uh, the UV and the old pump and that off of the control the control box that I wired up on previous episode. I've then got to just connect the dump, uh, the dump or the waste pipe into um, some pipe and then run that down the back of the pond into the garden. So and spin you around the aces have gone been moved right and that's in preparation for the next step so as we look round okay got a load there a load been put on the table up there tarpaulin starting to be laid ready for the materials start coming through but that's all going to come at a later date so I can't wait because you'll probably be able to pick up and move the net away. Some of the uh, the leaves from the big the big silver birch that we've got at the back there, and all the other trees that got in windy conditions like we've got at the moment, it blows all the way into the water. So I don't have to worry about that soon. So we're getting to a stage now where these fish will be moved into the smaller pond uh, ready um, ready for the big day of demolishing this and starting the new build. But you can see there. It's been really windy today. That's why there's so much of the stuff on the top. I've only just finished work and my um, major commitment today was to get this part finished so looks like we're starting to get there so you can see decent flow rate running down at 23 on the very pump which is a pump um, internal pump that leads up into the nexus so jobs are good on that guy so so as you can see progress is being made I haven't it's going to take me as long as it takes me all right so i've ordered five pallets of block um that come in just over 500 quid believe it or not um but getting older block at the minute is a nightmare if you're willing to pay through the nose you can get it fairly quickly but in comparison to when i i'd committed to the pond build um prices have probably gone up 33 percent i would say so what was originally 89 90p a brick it's now gone up you know one pound 20 one pound 30 a brick and that obviously has a knock-on effect for when you're building a bigger project it has a knock-on effect uh, what it is that you can achieve with the money that you've got or budgeted for so like i say my pond build is going to happen um how quick it's going to happen i don't know but one thing's for sure it will we will get there uh, if it takes me a bit longer, it takes me a bit longer, but nevertheless, I will uh, continue to commit putting videos on YouTube. Um, I have got some other little bits and bobs in the pipeline anyway. Um, some little teasers coming out that you see. I ain't going to tell you what it is or commit to telling you what it is just yet, um, because I want it to be a little bit more formal. But anyway... I'm going to clean out the Nexus now. Um, next stage, next video will be the fish being transferred over once I've done them with the water parameter checks and whatnot. Potentially, I'm going to introduce the smaller ones slower um, just to make sure that the filter system is able to cope with the stock that's going in there. I hope it does. Um, like I've said in future videos, um, now's, in my opinion, is a fairly decent time to be thinking about this, although. Although for a human comfort zone, everything drops because it's not as glamorous outside. Your nights are shorter. Get some spotlights out here. Um, wrap up a little bit and no doubt I'll be working up a sweat anyway. Merely down to the fact that, merely down to the fact that 
you know, busting my balls doing manual labour, which is not something that I do because I'm more of a shiny ass to be honest. But um, we get it there. So the fact that it's now temperatures are starting to drop, water temperatures are starting to drop. I haven't, I'm not heated, so because I'm not heated, um, you know, my fish will start going into what I like to call hibernation mode. Where they'll just part themselves and their asses on the bottom of the bottom of the pond and um, literally concentrate their energy in, slowing the heartbeat down and just you know surviving. So um, I will cover the pond. Um, that's, we're starting to get there from when I bring the um, when I actually bring um, when I bring the fish over into the smaller pond. We will then start to cover it and. Um, like I said before, this pond tends to hold its temperatures, you know, by a couple of degrees better uh, than the pond behind me anyway. So hopefully water parameters are coped with the volume of fish that are going in there. Only time will tell what that. Um, it's just another battle that you have as a hobbyist. But in the long run, I'm sure that everything will be fine. Um, and at the end of the day, we're building a bigger, better habitat for, for the fish. So... Um, I'm going to end it there anyway because I'm waffling. Stay soon. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed, whack that subscribe button. I think it is. Um, ring the little, put the little bell notification on. So throughout the winter, I'm going to try and keep as much content going as I possibly can, especially with the pond bill. So it's something worth tuning in for as all the other channels start to decrease off. Hopefully the pond bill will keep at least some of us a little bit sane during the darker, wetter, colder months. Anyway, stay safe, subscribe, like the video. Goodbye. You can't stop me now. Let it burn. But my time is rising.